Hello, this is Rai Snow. Uh, in this video, I will explain how to edit alpha channel on image. In case you don't know what alpha channel is, it is one of the channels that compose an image. For example, if it's an RGB image, it has red channel and green channel and blue channel. And these three channels handle colors for the image. But Actually, there is another channel called alpha channel, and this alpha channel handles non-color elements, including uh, transparency or opacity. So, by editing this alpha channel, you can change the image's transparency, and that's what we're gonna do in this video. So, here's a sample code, and uh, let me show you what this does first. Okay. Hmm. Like this. So image gradually disappears. Yeah, so this is what we're gonna create this time. So let's start. Okay, so first uh, create a uh, Yeah, so window is down. And then we're gonna create another class. A class. Uh, I'm gonna name this class screen. Okay, and this class extends J panel. So basically, this screen is a subclass of J panel. And uh, also implement action listener. Okay, so let's import J panel and action listener. And also, yeah, let's add uh, this action performed method. So we're gonna display image on this class, this screen class. Uh, go back to main class and uh, instantiate this screen class and uh, let's add this screen to this window mm. okay and I think this main class is done so let's go to this screen class and uh, we're gonna create some stuff here. And first, we're gonna use this timer, timer class, and name this alpha timer, and equal instantiate this timer, 20, and this. Okay, let's import this swing timer. So this timer constructor receives two uh, parameter. So as you can see here, the first one is integer and the delay. This is the timer speed. So how often this timer gets updated. The second one is action listener. So we have already implemented action listener to this screen class. So we just type this. Okay, and then we're gonna use this buffered image class and name this uh, up image or something import uh, and finally we're gonna use this float and name this alpha value and uh, 1f so this float is like an integer but uh, it can handle a decimal value as well so if you want to handle a very small number, then uh, you can use this float instead of int. Uh, you can also use double that can also handle decimal values. But uh, uh, for this purpose, uh, we need a float variable. Then uh, let's create a constructor, public screen. And it's okay for now. 
and then make another method public void uh, load buffered image and here so we're gonna load some image so I prepared this image blacksmith image so we're gonna use this then in this method buff image instantiate uh, try and catch io exception e uh, import okay and uh, buff image image io dot read and get class get class loader get resource and here so let's type the file name so yeah so let's call this method from this constructor add image and then uh, we're gonna make another method here public void paint method and uh, parameter is graphics and the g hmm? ah, public let's import this graphics and then uh, type super dot paint G. So this super means a uh, super class of this class, and uh, that means uh, yeah. So J panel. So we're gonna passing this G to a uh, super class paint method, and uh, this is a little bit complicated. But actually, this paint method is not in J panel class, but uh, actually in this J component class. So if you uh, press Ctrl and click this method, then you can jump to this method. And this is a J component class. And uh, why not J panel? Um, because um, yeah, let's jump to this J panel. Actually, J panel is a subclass of this J component. So this is uh, like a big, big daddy or something. J component, but. Don't worry about it too much it's just uh, this is how you do it whenever you want to use this paint method so it's like a format and then uh, we're gonna use this graphics 2d uh, g2d equal we got this graphics class but uh, we're gonna convert this graphics class uh, to this Oh, no, no, no. 2D and uh, let's import. Okay, so we're gonna use this class graphics 2D because um, this normal graphics class cannot handle alpha channel, but the graphics 2D can, so that's why we wanted this one and then. We're gonna use this g two d dot set composite uh, alpha composite dot get instance land bracket uh, alpha composite dot and here there's some selections and uh, we're gonna choose this one this time. Uh, source over comma and then uh, what was it that's float we're gonna use this float here alpha value mm. so yeah it looks complete it looks really complicated so what this means mm. first this set composite method so this is a method in this graphics 2d class and uh, so this graphics 2d is a uh, kind of a, like a drawing device so 
you can do some uh, drawing, you know, drawing pictures or drawing some graphics using this 2D. And you can change the settings of this G2D with this method. And in this case, what we, we are doing is uh, we're going to change in the alpha setting of this G2D, you know, like a drawing device. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to show you the results soon. And then finally, G2D. So we're going to draw image. So uh, we're going to use this buff image, buffered image. And uh, like 120, no. So this is the image we want to draw. And this is X and this is Y. And uh, this is, uh, it is called the uh, image observer, but uh, we are not going to use this, so no, just null. And so this paint method is also done. And finally, yeah, let's uh, take care of this action performed. So uh, first, uh, alpha value equal uh, alpha value uh, minus 0.01 f uh, uh, ah, value hmm. and then uh, if statement uh, alpha value if it's less than 0 why then alpha value equals 0 and uh, oh wait a minute did we ah no we haven't uh, okay also uh, after loading this image let's start this alpha timer alpha timer dot start Not to restart, start, and uh, okay, and then when alpha value, the alpha value is zero, then uh, let's stop this alpha timer. Uh, finally, uh, depaint. Okay, I think that's everything. Yeah, let's check this. Hmm. Okay. It works. Yeah, so let me explain a little bit. So maybe some of you guys wonder, you know, so how this paint or uh, action performed methods get called. So first, this action performed method gets called whenever this timer gets updated. So this timer, so we set 20 here. So this timer gets updated every 20 milliseconds. So uh, it's very quick, quickly. So that means this action performed method gets called every 20 milliseconds. And then, so every time this gets called, you know, this alpha value gradually decreases. And also every time this action performed method gets called, it's gonna call this paint method from here. It says repaint, but basically this means uh, this is gonna call this paint method. And uh, so this graphics 2D, this drawing device, it's going to draw image with this current alpha value. And this alpha value decreases a little by little by this here. So, you know, every time this paint method gets called, you know, the opacity level changes. So gradually decreasing. So that's how it works here. So of course you can do the like o opposite. For example, let's uh, change this zero, start from zero, and also this is a uh, like a plus. And uh, so one and one, I think. 
Then, yeah, so the character gradually appears. Okay, anyway, that's it for now. So I hope this was useful for you. And、uh, thanks for watching. And、uh, see you again. Bye.